Why me no voice? Sad face. No! Hello everybody, welcome to Verdi Games. Today we are going to be commentating over the amazing thing that is the new release of Cap 21. So basically right here, we have a Pokemon that is a Poison Rock type, which uses Poison Rock to her advantage. Poison Rock, as you guys maybe know or not, um, has two very good physical stabs in the form of Gunk Shot and Head Smash. Um, sadly, these moves are very, very flawed because of two things. Gunk Shot has relatively eh accuracy, and Head Smash with eh accuracy also has a 50% recoil. So it's really, really bad in those senses. However, those are the two best stabs for those typings. And so what Crucible does here is she is a physical attacker that has Magic Guard in her Mega Form. And in her base form has Regenerator and Mold Break. But in her Mega Form... She has negated the recoil from Head Smash. I mean, spamming Head Smash is going to be a huge thing for Crucible. Um, there's three sets for Crucible. We have the Offensive Utility set, which consists of, like, Head Smash, U-Turn, um, Gunk Shot, and Stealth Rocks. Because you can switch in, throw Stealth Rocks out, you turn out, and do nice chunks of damage to your opponent. Um... And that's good with Regenerator, and also works great with Magic Guard because of Head Smash. So, that's the Offensive Utility set. Her other sets are her, um, the other um, sets she runs are her Coil set and her All Attack set. Her All Attack set consists of mostly her best competitive stab moves, and, um, best competitive stab moves, and some coverage moves. Um, usually consisting of either U-Turn, Wood Hammer or Low Kick. Those are her best coverage moves, in my opinion. Um, she also has then Gun Shot and Head Smash, because just they're amazing on her. Um, the other set then is also Coil. Um, the Coil set is a setup set. As long as you get in, Mega Evolve, and get your Coil off, your speed stat is at 114, so you're pretty fast. Your relatively lame defense at 75 is boosted. And then your good attack of 135 gets boosted again. That on top of the accuracy increase, which takes Gunk Shot's weakness and um, Head Smash's weakness of bad accuracy and fixes it to almost perfect accuracy. So you got almost perfect accuracy, better bulk, increased damage, and you're already fast. So Crucible, once she gets a coil off of Mega Evolves, is going to do some serious damage. This will be interesting to see how these teams deal with that, because Jax's team looks relatively weak when it comes to taking hits. That said, they're all relatively fast and have huge threat potential to Crucible, so Crucible might not be setting up easily this game. Um, Exclaimer, on the other hand, has a Sand Team, so I'm guessing he's going to try to use that to his advantage and make... She gets the Coil off, and then she has the Sandstorm, she'll get the boosted Special Defense and Physical Defense, meaning that Crucible will be really tanky. Um, if it's not taking an Earthquake, of course, because that just negates all of that for the most part. Crucible's mega weakness is ground, and as you can see on Jass's team, he got two ground types. Exclaimer has an Excadrill, which is a very fast, especially in the sand, can just really outspeed and destroy um, Crucible. So, and then Tyranitar on top of that is very tanky. He can take most hits except for a low kick from Crucible and fire back an Earthquake and just destroy it. So this team, this game will be very interesting to see who will win this. Exclamerson's in his Tyranitar, and Jason's in his Landorus. Um, Exclamerson's setting up Tyranitar to make sure the sand is up for his team, because his team is definitely focused on trying to get the sand and keeping it up. I'm expecting Tyranitar to switch in this case, because I don't think he can take a Landorus Earthquake if this is an offensive Landorus. Takes a U-turn, okay, that's fine. So he's Landorus, switches out with a U-turn. 
probably expecting the Tyranitar to switch, because an Earthquake would just completely destroy Tyranitar. Um, he brings his Garchomp in. Ooh! Ooh! Ice Beam Tyranitar! If that would have... If that would have hit, because it's Sand Veil, if that would have hit, that would have been amazing, because Garchomp would have been erased. Wow, that was... Wow! Sand Veil saved Jass there. That was awesome. <laughs> Sand Veil will even legal like funny because of his wrong ability. Yeah, Jass just explained that his Garchomp was supposed to have rough skin, but that just saved him right now because his Garchomp would have been totally dead. That's amazing. Wow. <laughs> Using a little. Aww. Using a legal ability. It's not illegal. Aww, this is funny. So, um. This just completely put a knot in everyone's plans because Garchomp would have been dead right now, but because of his ability, this completely erased it. So that is amazing. Oh, wow. So, now he did an earthquake because pretty much his whole team hates taking any earthquakes. And Moongus survived it. Oh. This is just disgusting. Oh. Oh, this is disgusting. Garchomp with Sand Veil is destroying this, destroying Exclaimer, just, oh, no ground exists, and Garchomp, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, Jass is using the hacks to his advantage in this game, oh, I can already, like, I know, Exclaimer is a nice person and all, but I could just feel the salt, I can personally, oh, I'd be so angry right now. A uh, skill. <laughs> yeah, Jass, Jass, there's so much skill in this. The the Sand Veil avoids are amazing. Hidden Power Ice, there we go. We finally got a hit, and now Heat Ran's gone. This is an interesting battle, because now Garchomp is just destroying everything. Two of Exclaimer's Mons are already dead, and Garchomp has just wrecked everything, avoiding two things that would have destroyed him. It's amazing that this Garchomp is alive, and the fact that everything is going the way it is. Okay, so this is Crucible. Crucible is not faster right now. Crucible will die. Oh, no! This game! Oh! Oh! The mess! And oh! The sand! And oh! Oh! <laughs> This game is becoming so uneventful. Crucible Cap 21 just went down right now because Garchomp with Sand Veil and Dits and... <laughs> this... Oh, the hacks. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is so amazing. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is good. Okay. Involved. This is okay, the skill involved in camp. <laughs> oh yeah, this is gonna be a very interesting game because Exclaimer just has to do something. I, I'm wondering. He probably has Sand Force, um, Extra Chill. If he has Sand Rush, does he have Sand Rush? We don't know. If he has Sand Rush. I don't know why he didn't switch this in earlier. However, this is still pretty ridiculous. Yeah, he has Sand Rush, or he's scarfed. Either way, that's kind of sad that he didn't do it. You don't know yet. I'm guessing he's Sand Rush. Um, he did the Intimidate, and we can't do anything now because his whole team's physical. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Exclaimer. One Mon down on Jazz's team because of Sand Veil hacks. And Azumarill is destroyed because, unless it's a banded Aqua Jet right now, there's nothing that Azumarill can do. This game is pretty much over within turn 8 because of horrible, horrible things called hacks. Okay. Which is in case it takes the Aqua Jet, then guessing this is a choice band on Zoomerol. Um... Hmm. It'll be interesting. Okay, so, Exclaimer predicts the, switch, the Psy Shock and goes straight into Rancher Pursuits the Ladia so it can't switch out. He did a pretty good job there. Making sure that Exclaimer did a pretty good job there erasing um, the Latias. So now we have a Crucible. We'll find out what happens. Low kick! Boom! Tyranitar gone. That is the power of Crucible. Even just in its 
base form than Mega Evolving, so it has the same attack stat, but that speed stat didn't really matter in that case. So we, now we have a Mega Crucible on his team. Um, we got a Sword Dancing Excure Drill, so I'm guessing that's not Scarf, and it's actually Sand Rush. I wonder what he's gonna do. Oh, a one-shot Iron Head. Wow, the comeback right now is real right now. We only have two on one. We have three on Jax's team and two on Exclaimer. Considering Exclaimer got it was three Pokemon before because of Sand Veil Garchomp. Now it's turning around. A oh, plus one Exclaimer in Exclaimer. <laughs> the plus one Extra Drill in the Sand. A Sucker Punch might be able to beat him. Nope. That is a dead Bisharp. This is amazing. Keldeo, Crucible. Oh, this is interesting. If um, Keldeo can't kill. Oh. Ooh, okay. Um, ooh, Crucible survived an Aqua Jet. It missed the gunk shot, though. <laughs> Sadly, Crucible's missing attacks is very sad. Okay. However, the game is over now, because I'm guessing this Azumarill is banded. And Keldeo is faster, so if Aqua Jet's gonna hit, it's not gonna kill it. Yeah, Keldeo's gonna be able to tank this. That was an amazing turnaround of events. I mean, it went from Jazz just wrecking Exclaimer to Exclaimer coming back and almost destroying him. Only thing is... He just took too much damage, and Keldeo could easily take an Aqua Jet and clean up the fight. I mean, wow, that was crazy. Wow, that was just... Did not expect that game. That was... Wow. Okay, so, in the beginning, if you guys don't know, Garchomp has Sand Veil, which increases his evasion. Um... When he's in the sand. So, bringing Garchomp in, right after Tyranitar set up the sand, made Garchomp... Pretty much unhittable, actually. I mean, guards are very easy to hit, but Hacks just played into Jazz's hands and like missed an Ice Beam, which would have definitely destroyed Garchomp, and missed all kinds of attacks that would have ended him. Um, then Garchomp just proceeded to do tons of damage to Exclaimer's team because Exclaimer's team really was quite weak to ground. Um, but after Garchomp went away, all of a sudden Exclaimer just turned on and started destroying his team. It came down to both having one on one, but the problem was he had a bandit Azumarill, and an Aqua Jet from a bandit Azumarill is not going to kill a Keldeo. And Keldeo can just kill it, because it's a resisted attack versus someone who can choose their attacks. So, it was a good game, really considering all, and we went by really fast too. But yeah. That was the inaugural battle for Cap 21. Hope you guys liked it, and remember to rock your guys' lives. Peace. Down,